Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. It is easy to enter content in an empty cell and also to edit a cell that already has content. Three things you can do with your cell to insert and edit data. To click it, just one click, to double click the cell, to double click it and pause, then double click it again. Let's see each one of these methods what will do in our cell. To insert data into cells, select the desired cell. After that, you have two choices, either to enter data in the formula bar or to type directly in the cell itself. And if the cell contains data, you can edit its contents by double clicking the cell then start to type either in the formula bar or in the cell itself also pressing F2 will insert the insertion cursor inside the cell use the arrows to move to the letter after which you want to edit also press enter or click anywhere click an empty cell just one click and start to type will activate the enter mode click anywhere the cell return to the ready mode while click a cell contains data one click and start to type will replace its content and also make it enters the enter mode click anywhere or press enter or press the true sign the cell return back to the ready mode double click the cell will insert the insertion inside the cell double click again will select the content of the cell so when you type you will replace the text with a new one but if we have a text composed of many words then double click will insert insertion point then double click again will select part of the text not all the text in conclusion one click on the cell the cell is in ready mode enter mode activated when typing if the cell is empty new data is inserted but if the cell contains data data completely replaced by the new entry double click the cell insertion cursor appears if the cell is empty enter mode activated to insert data while if the cell contains data edit mode activated to add data to it or remove from it the last case is double clicking the cell and double clicking it again the first double click is responsible for inserting the cursor inside the cell and the enter mode is activated the second double click is responsible for 
activating the edit mode. That will happen if the cell is empty. But if the cell contains data, edit mode is activated from the first double click. Thank you for watching Edubedia World Videos. See you at the next video.